Here they come. This is the Wandered Provoke 21 liter. It has been loved by so many on YouTube and there has been plenty of coverage. But what if you're looking for something with a similar style that doesn't break the bank? Now I've been on the search for a small camera bag. I'm looking for one that can specifically hold all of my gear, that can hold my laptop, my iPad, cables, chargers, headphones, and I want it to be able to fit underneath the seat of a plane. I know, it's a bit of a tall order, but in my search I came across this guy here. Now if you've done any research on YouTube looking for a small camera backpack, you'll have undoubtedly come across this guy here. The Wander Provoke specifically in the 21 liter. And maybe, just maybe, you may have seen this guy as well. This is the Bezin Photo waterproof camera backpack. And as you look at these two bags, you kind of see that there might be a little bit of a similarity between them. But even though I have seen videos on the Wandered and I have seen videos on the Bezin Photo, I've never seen a direct comparison between them. Now, full disclosure as always, Wandered nor Bezin Photo have sent me either of these bags. That means you're going to get my unbiased review and you're going to find out exactly what I think of these. And also, should you be interested in either of these bags, both will be linked down in the description. Let's talk about what comes with the bags. I'm just gonna put the Bezin photo here to the side for just a moment. Now, with the Wanderer, you actually have to buy the photography bundle if you do wanna be able to store your camera inside. Otherwise, you're just gonna receive an empty shell. But what you get in the box then, when you buy that bundle, is of course you get the bag itself, you get the cube, which I have already inside of here, and then you also receive a couple of other items. You receive the waistband here, which looks pretty substantial. And of course, some attachment straps as well. Now, when it comes to the Bezin photo, you don't have to buy any specific type of package in order to get the, the camera cube. Uh, there actually is no cube inside. It just has the dividers all set up. And we'll take a look at that more uh, later on. But what you get in the box, of course, you get the bag itself. You also receive the camera dividers, as I just mentioned. You receive a waist strap and of course some attachment straps here as well that I already have on. Now, both bags are made from the same waterproof tarpa tarpaulin? Tarpaulin. Tarpaulin? I don't know. But it's made of that material here, um, which gives them of course a very similar look. I will say though, that even though they have the same material, this one has a little bit more of a kind of a richer black, a little bit deeper uh, and feels just a little bit better. Both bags have water resistant YKK zippers. Both bags include a rain cover. Both bags include a nylon roll top here. Both bags have a pocket here on the side, as well as on this side, you get side access to your camera. When we flip them around to the back here, you'll see it's still very similar. Of course, you got your shoulder straps here. Um, interestingly, the Bezin photo straps here seem to be a little bit thicker. They have this interesting contour this interesting foam design here on the back here, providing substantial more padding. Um, I don't really particularly find that any more comfortable than the Wandered. I don't find it any less comfortable either though. Both have a sternum strap. However, the Wandered sternum strap is a very interesting design. Instead of the typical um, buckle that you receive on most other bags here, right? Just your standard plastic buckle. This one has a unique design and it just goes into this uh, bit of a kind of a track system here. Just clips on inside and you'll undo it by just pulling on the string and it comes right off. Admittedly, I'm a little curious as to the longevity of this. All right, this is just a thin piece of plastic on either side with a little bit of a tab there to, to hold it in place. So yeah, long term, I don't know. Uh, it's very possible they may have engineered it to, to withstand the test of time, but we'll have to see. One thing that both of these bags have in common is how the shoulder straps are attached to the bags. Both of them, as you may have noticed, are attached to the back panel. Now, that can make it easy when it comes to accessing the back itself here because that way when you, when you actually go to open this, the straps just move right out of the way with everything so you have easy access to the compartment. The problem though with that is that everything that's in your bag, the weight of that is being put on ultimately onto these zippers. Interestingly, Bezin Photo has done something a little bit different. They also have these clips here and these clips help distribute some of that weight off that back panel right here onto the main shell of the bag so you're not putting all the weight onto the zipper itself here instead up at the top that is actually very clever and something that i do like seeing another difference i've noticed as well with the shoulder straps 
have to do with, uh, with the sternum strap. Now I already mentioned uh, the differences between the straps themselves, but if you, like me, like to use the capture clip from Peak Design, if you clamp that onto this here, it's gonna clamp right into the track itself um, that is used for sliding the sternum strap up and down, which I don't know if it actually slides. Oh, it doesn't really slide, so you have to just put it on in a different spot. Because of that, you're gonna be crushing that track when you put the capture clip on there. And I'm not sure, again, longevity wise, how that's gonna hold up. Now, of course, this isn't made by Peak Design. They're not gonna necessarily have that in mind when they when they construct the bag. Um, whereas when it comes to the Bezin photo, they just have these nice straps here with actually plenty of attachment points for the capture clip. Now, as you can see, both bags also have uh, an outside pocket here on the front where you can just throw in a jacket if you want or papers, whatever you want. Um, same on the, same on this as well. However, one difference is that the uh, the Wandered has this additional pocket here in the back that you can unzip that, and there's a nice little hook in here for like your keys. So a little bit of extra storage there on the side. Whereas the Bezin Photo does not have that little pocket. And then lastly, when it comes to the exterior, there is a luggage pass through on both of these here. Got a strap in both of them. However, the Wandered has a nice little added bonus back here, and that is a small little zippered pocket. Now this is, that is great for if you want to put your, your sensitive documents, passport, nobody's going to be able to get into this while it's on your back. Now before we get into the interiors of uh, these bags, I do want to point out one slight difference between the two, and that is that the Bezin Photo is a substantially larger bag inside. Um, and to be fair, I think this is going to be closer to what would be the 31 liter of the Wandered Provoke. So I'm not gonna do a direct comparison as far as what can fit inside either bag. Um, just know that if you're looking for something that can hold as much as what the Bezin photo, you're probably gonna be looking at the 31 liter. I'll also link to that one as well. Now, first and foremost, let's talk about the roll tops themselves. Uh, as you can see, they are both held in place here by a metal buckle. This one is just simply a buckle. I guess I guess would be the best way to, to describe it. It's just a simple uh, buckle here that slides into this attachment point here comes undone, and then when you open it up, oh yeah, oh wait, 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 yep, more Velcro. Yeah, you know, why there needed to be Velcro involved in this, I don't know, but once you get inside there, um, this just opens right on up, and there is plenty of storage here, and I believe it expands from 21 liters up to 25. Now, you'll also notice you also may be noticing as I'm fighting with this, the Wander does not like to stand on its own, whereas the Bezin Photo, I haven't had any problems at all. In fact, the Bezin Photo on the bottom here, I forgot to mention it, has these nice kind of rubber feet in place here that really helps it stand up on its own. So you put it down and it's not going anywhere. Anyway, back to the roll top. Now, instead of the, uh, the clip on that side here, or the, I guess, I guess that'd be more of a hook. So instead of the hook on that side there, we have this magnetic clip. So this just opens up like so. And you'll notice this one actually is a little bit nicer in that as you roll it up, oh, forgot to undo the handle. And this is something a little bit different between the two as well. So you had a lot of Velcro on this side here. However, these top handles are just held together by magnets. They're nice and quiet and they hold things in place. This one, however, has a little bit of Velcro, but that's where the Velcro stops. All right, we open this up here, no Velcro, nothing at all. And on top of that, the roll top itself, and let me just lay this down to kind of get a better angle. The roll top itself here actually closes with a zipper. A little bit of extra security, I like that. And then I'm not so sure how easy it is to see. Uh, I'll try to put in some B-roll footage of this. Uh, but there's a couple of extra pouches on the inside of this as well that are Velcro shut. And of course you can just store uh, small items in there, maybe a couple extra batteries if you want. Uh, you could do good batteries and dead batteries on, on either side. Uh, and then in here is where I have the ring cover. Okay, next we're gonna move into the main compartment here. Now, one thing I do like about the Wandered, it has nice zipper pulls on here, make it nice and easy to actually pull those zippers open and get inside here. Likewise, no zipper pulls, no zipper pulls here. Which is really bizarre because if you were to look, for example, here on the side access, there are zipper pulls. Uh, if you were to look at the front pocket here, there's a zipper pull. Why there are no zipper pulls for the main compartment? I don't know. I don't quite get it. But of course, you can easily add some zipper pulls on there for five, ten bucks off Amazon. So we're going to get inside of the bag here now. 
both open the same way. And we're going to talk first about the actual flap on both of these here. Now, on the wandered side here, you have a little bit of extra uh, organization. First, you have a laptop sleeve here. Um, I don't know what size laptop fits in there. However, Wander does provide the actual dimensions of the pockets for the 21 liter, the 31 liter, and they even have a 41 liter bag on there as well. Uh, my 13 inch MacBook Pro fits no problem with some, with some uh, room to spare. Will it fit a 16? I don't know. Uh, but you can of course take a look at the dimensions and see if that's gonna work for you. You also have a separate tablet pocket up here as well. Uh, two extra zip pockets here on either side. For some storage as well as one down here, but it, it doesn't go down that far. Likewise, on the Bezin photo, we have the same uh, laptop sleeve here. Now, this is rated up to a 16 inch uh, laptop. There is no additional sleeve for a tablet, um, but you know, you can slide both of them in next to each other. And there is just one large pocket here on the Bezin photo for some additional storage. So now we're gonna get into the interior of the, cam of the bags themselves here. And as you can see, like I had mentioned before, the Bezin photo has a lot more storage space uh, on it. Uh, the one noticeable difference though that, I, that I've seen between these two has to do with this guy. This is the protective flap for the camera compartment here. And just zips up here on either side. The thing I don't like about this is that you can't actually just move it out of the way. You know, with any, any bag that has a camera cube, of course it has this flap as well. But typically you can just tuck it right underneath there. Uh, whereas this guy, because there is no camera cube itself, there's really nowhere to put it. A uh, couple things I will point out though, first has to do with the foam dividers. These guys here are quite a bit more sturdy. There is still definitely some give and you can, uh, you can bend them if you want to, uh, but they are definitely a lot more sturdy. In between, of course, you have your typical nylon dividers here that have Velcro on either side. On the flip side here, we have the, uh, the Wandered, where there really is a lot of, <coughs> A lot of options when it comes to dividing. These are very stiff here as well, but as you can see, there is more spacing here as far as giving you freedom where you can bend the dividers. Now, as I mentioned before, both of these bags have side access pockets. On this one is through the actual camera cube. There's a hole on the side, and then of course you can open up the side here as well. On the pocket itself, you have some additional storage here. Uh, there is just one large comp compartment here with a zipper. On the flip side, we have the Bezin photo, similar style, except you have a one small advantage. And that being because there's no camera cube, it's a little bit easier to access these side pockets. Now, for my own personal use here, I have that same pocket here uh, closed off. I don't really use the side access on any camera bag. I kind of see that as a bit of a security weakness in, in any bag that has that. Myself, I actually have this twist tied shut here and attached to one of the points down here, so you can't really open that up. And then I have Velcro dividers uh, actually attached to that. There is also that same zipper pouch here. This is actually divided into two separate sections though. All right, so we've discussed the differences on the exterior of the bags here. We've discussed the differences on the interior of the bag. Let's now discuss the biggest difference between the two, and that comes down to price. Both bags do occasionally go on sale and you can find some good deals on them. The Wandered Provoke 21 liter here with the photography bundle comes in at a whopping $299. If you wanna go for the one that is closer in size here to the Bezin photo, the 31 liter, you're gonna be looking at $324. Why it's only a $25 difference, I don't know. On the other hand, when we are looking at, I'm just gonna prop this up here with my microphone case real quick, there we go. If we're looking now at the Bezin photo, this comes in at just $98, $98. So let's talk about the advantages of either bag here. What are the advantages of the Wandered as opposed to the Bezin Photo? Well, although they claim to be made from the same materials, I have a feeling this is probably just a higher quality uh, material th than compared to the Bezin Photo. It definitely has a nice little bit of a softer feel to it. Um, and then the only other really real advantage that I can think of is to do with the camera cube itself. The ability to just simply remove that is absolutely going to make this a lot easier if you want to just take this bag and use it as an everyday backpack without the camera uh, cube inside. Whereas here on the Bezin Photo, you still have that freedom. You can still use this as an everyday bag, but you're going to have to take out all of the dividers inside and reconfigure it when you want to put it back in. Um, as far as advantages are concerned, that's about it. Now, advantages of the Bezin photo. As I mentioned before, you have the better construction as far as attaching the shoulder straps to the bag themselves. Um, in my opinion, 
a better sternum strap. I, I much prefer uh, a traditional buckle here as opposed to whatever their, whatever Wanderer's design is there. Oh, another advantage here for the Wanderer, better waist strap. If you are gonna be using this bag to put in a ton of gear and you plan on using the waist strap, yeah, it's gonna be much more supportive than this. This is just simply a belt, all right? It's just nylon webbing with some buckles on it. Uh, this is actually a nice padded waist belt. Also with some storage on here as well, failed to mention that. Personally, for this style of bag, I'm not, this is not what I'm gonna be using to haul a heavy load. Um, I have my Shimoda Explore for that. So I have no plans on using any type of a waist strap. Um, and then as far as let, other advantages for the Bezin photo, let's face it, the price. I picked this guy up here for just $78. And even with a normal price of 98, under hundred bucks, you're getting a, this nice high quality waterproof camera bag. Where can you go wrong with it? So ultimately then, which bag do you get? Do you spend the extra money and invest in the Wandered? Do you just go for the, uh, the less expensive Bezin photo? If you're looking for one camera bag that you're gonna be using as your daily driver, um, and you're gonna put it through its paces, throw it down into the dirt, get it dirty. I have a feeling the wander is probably gonna hold up a little bit better. Again, I just think it has some higher quality materials um, as opposed to the Bezin photo. There is a reason this guy is $300, whereas this one is only $98. However, if you're like me and you're looking for a bag that you're gonna use once in a while underneath maybe the seat of an airplane, or maybe you wanna be able to, you wanna have a smaller bag that you can take onto um, a rare client job. I'm a landscape photographer, I like doing these videos. Occasionally I might get hired though to do headshots of somebody. This is a nice, Nice bag for that as well. Uh, occasionally I might use this just to take my camera kit over to my parents' house, for example, right? Like this is not really gonna take much abuse at all. I think it could absolutely hold up to some, uh, but it's not really gonna be used for that. If that's gonna be your use case, I'd probably go for the Bezin photo to be perfectly honest with you. Having now felt both of these bags here, it, it's, really, it's really difficult to see why you might wanna spend $300 on the Wandered. Again though, if this is gonna be your daily driver, if you're gonna be putting it through its paces, you might wanna invest on the, uh, the higher end bag. I've had everything from cheap bags on up to expensive. The expensive bags, they can sometimes make a difference, especially if you're gonna use them hard. But don't discount this Bezin photo. It is a fantastic bag. Once I'm done with this video, I am gonna be packaging up the Wandered here and I'm gonna be uh, taking it on over to the UPS store to send it back. This is not the bag for me and I'm gonna be keeping the Bezin photo. So which bag do you think you'd want to go for? Do you think the, the extra investment for the Wandered is going to be worth it? Or do you think the Bezin photo is going to be the option for you? Let me know in the comments section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter. Now, if you found this video helpful and you'd like to see more content related to photography tips and tricks, as well as more gear reviews, please consider subscribing. It really does help a lot. And it is an indication that I'm creating the type of content that you'd like to see. However, if that's too much of a commitment for you, but you still enjoy the content, please go ahead and tap that like button. But hey, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. I know it's a different bird, but it just kind of comes across as the mine, mine, mine. That was a lot of geese. Oh, there's more. Today's the big migration day.